Um, all right, new releases. I love them too. Great. I know Wombat and I have been playing one of these new releases. Uh, <laughs> Tempest 4000. Teapot? Codename Teapot? Codename yeah, Teapot. Codename Teapot. Um, yeah, I, what, are you, what are you playing on, Wombat? Uh, the Xbox One. Okay, I'm on the Xbox One as well. All right. Um, that is a Tempest game. Yeah, All it's, right. it's Tempest. If you like Temp, thirty dollars for Tempest. I, I can't like I, looking at the outline. This is the first time I saw the price of this game. Me too. I had no idea. I thought it was like ten bucks. <laughs> is this an Atari joint? Yeah, yeah, it's an Atari joint, which is why I would. Do you guess- get like a Bitcoin for thirty dollars too? <laughs> Free speaker hat. <laughs> Maybe they didn't sell the enough speaker The game itself heads. is it's very much Tempest. I mean, I it's don't, fine. It's fun. If you ask me, like, what the difference between this was and like the last version of Tempest or Space Draft or whatever you want to call these games, it's made by Jeff Minter. Yeah, no, yeah. no, it's, yeah. it's 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 a legit, legit. Tempest game. Yeah. Um, but I don't know that I would be able to instantly tell you that this was a new game, like as I was playing it, if I didn't know any better. <laughs> like, it's. There's no new mechanics that I could tell. Did you find any new mechanics? No, nope. Wombat? Nope. I like the different level shapes that I unlocked. <laughs> Shiny. Shiny. It's got good colors, and the music is all, you know, that music you would expect it to be. Doom, doom, doom. And they do have, like, the uh, like uh, arcade-style audio, which I think is kind of fun with the with yeah. the, 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 sp- the speaking. Yeah. 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 No, it's 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 a perfectly good Tempest game. Yeah. But thirty dollars is kind of crazy. It's a little nuts. Uh, that's it's absurd. I would say for, that's for, super crazy. Like because it's not like this is like some new mixture on Tempest or like that. There's a lot of different modes or whatever. It's just you're, you're playing Tempest. <sighs> I don't know. You know they got to <laughs> pay. Either. They got to build those Atari consoles, right? Something, somebody's got to pay for that. For I, guess. Well, I I mean, so if R&D. they're going to make a game, this is the game that it makes sense for Atari to make, right? Because right. it doesn't cost a lot to make, and it has enough weight behind the name. Sure. Perfect. And, and it's it's named well. Cause mm-hmm. it, so. It's not adventure, but yeah, it's not combat. I can see combat coming back. Why hasn't combat come back? That I don't, that, it, that would make sense. <laughs> It's Seems coming okay. and it's going to be $69. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Just because why not? Right. So Sonic Mania Plus comes out this week. Uh, along with the, <laughs> the Sonic Mania Encore pack is the DLC. So Sonic Mania Plus is the whole thing plus the Encore pack. Uh, which introduces two new characters, playable characters, some other stuff. You guys, did you guys get Sonic Mania the first time around? No, nope. I did not. Oh, okay. This is our chance. Big chance. It's Don't it, sleep on it. Right. It's now or never. $30. Same price as Tempest. Mm. <laughs> I have that Far Cry 5 DLC to play. I what's, do too. What's the story with that? That's the Mars one, right? Yes. So it's supposed to be good? Like, what? what's the deal? I don't know. Lasers? Go get it, comes lasers? Out, it, it comes out tomorrow. Jetpacks? It'll be out when the show is posted. Moon I Patrol? Is when it comes out. I believe that's when it comes out. Or is it next week? I don't know. I'm hoping tomorrow me, because I have a day off and it would be nice to be able to play it. You told me to finish Far Cry 3. Far Cry 5. Did that's you? we are. I'm getting close. So I wanted to ask you, like, so you what's, when, does the, when does the end game kick in? Is it as soon as you get... Get enough soon, points to kill the last dude. Yeah, the as third soon as you guy. Get, as soon as you get up to the unlocking the 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 last the yeah, once you get rid of the three people, mm-hmm. that's it. Then you unlock the end game, and then you do it, and that it should only take you like fifteen minutes. And that's the whole weird crazy that, stuff. Then, okay, then I'm, I'm almost the there. I'm like, you know, a hundred or points away from um, from unlocking that. Perfect. Then yeah, I mean, then you you might have like two hours left of that game. So that's, I like that game. <laughs> I don't know if people like really like shit on that game for some reason. It's it's you know why? Because it's not great, and I think people wanted it's it to good. be great. <sighs> it's it's I'm, great. Not gonna, I'm not going to tell you it's not pretty good. It's definitely pretty good. It's got its moments. It's not as good as Ghost Recon Wildlands, but okay, all right, it's not. I think it's pretty it's just, great. 
It's I got it's you know what? It's got its pluses and its minuses. I'm still annoyed that with the, the season pass, they gave you a download pack for extra weapons, and then you go in the game and they want you to buy the weapons in the game. They forced that, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. that and that just le- it just leaves that bad taste in your mouth, where it's like ugh, ugh. Well, I don't want to like this game, but uh, I really liked the uh, the Heart of Darkness stuff. I'm I'm excited for Lost on Mars. I I enjoy I finished the game. It's not like I didn't, you know. I I, yeah. I enjoyed it enough to finish it. I didn't it finish God bad, of War. It got a bad <laughs> rap because it's it didn't take a hard political stance, I think. Uh, or people thought it was too soft dealing with like religious cults. I uh, I don't know. I don't know how fair that is. You just game, need but... to finish it. You, I need. Okay, to, I'm gonna do it. I'm there. I'm I need there. to. I need to. And I'm telling you, when you get to the I have end, to stream it. You have to stream it. All right. Like when you I'll unlock just... that last fight. All right. Just stream it from there. All right. I'll do it. Okay. What so, else we got this week in new releases? We're still. We're still. Is there, there. Any, anything else we're yeah, talking about? Yeah, there's Switch stuff. There's good stuff for the Switch. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Yep. Nobody played that on Wii U, so now you can play it on Switch. Uh, Johnny Turbo Arcade Express Raider. That's no idea what that is. Me neither. I'm making Switch sound effects. Did you hear? Mm-hmm. You did. Okay, good. That's good. Um, Octopath Traveler. I know a lot of people have been looking forward to that. That's an RPG. Yeah, people nice. are people are saying it's very good. I don't know if it's for me, but if it's for you, enjoy it. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Is that it? Is that all? The, oh, the Moose Man is out for the Switch this week. You guys probably right. are waiting on that. All one. right, I'm moving along. Six dollars and twenty nine cents. That's a good price. Hmm. Is it about? A, is it about a man is. that's like? Is it like an anthropomorphic moose game, or is it? Or is it a uh, what do you a guy think? who hunts moose? What do you think? I'm thinking an anthropomorphic moose. It's it's a looks like a horror character. game. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a two D atmospheric game. Oh, see? I, I've seen this game before. That's completely different than what I was thinking. I thought mm-hmm. it was going to be like some sort of cartoony game where you play as Mister Moose Man. It looks kind of good, actually. I feel bad for making fun of it. Yeah, no, it, I think it's actually supposed to be okay. Right, all right. And that's why I was saying it's 629. Good. That seems all right. Delete this podcast immediately. <laughs> Pick another game. Yeah, I'm sure you can You can strike gold with another Red one. Hot Ricochet. All right, let's see what that is. Or Mugsters. How about Mugsters? That's Holy Potatoes. Like no, no, no. I feel no. like I know what Mugsters is, too. Holy Mugsters. Potatoes, a weapon shop? Yeah, they've that emailed. That one's all right. They've emailed Darts me up. a lot. I, I I didn't. They said they they emailed me like four times asking me if I want a copy of that game. I did not mm. reply. You get a lot of good good uh, <laughs> explore more searches when you put in Red Hot Ricochet. <laughs> there's there's curvy hot, yellow hot, USA hot, pinky hot, smoking hot. Right. I think we could have a new segment every week: Switch game or not, and you just make up a game. I mean, darts up does not sound like a real thing. <laughs> I mean, come on. Or Epic Loon. Quest for the Flabby Tush? What's that? No. No? Any other new releases? Um, That looks like it covers the... That's Fire I mean. Smasher? <laughs> sounds plausible. Uh, all right, plausible. we're done with new releases, it sounds like. Yes, Perfect. I think so. 